Hi Radio Uyu, I'm roaming across your mind. Assalamualaikum, good morning. Thank you so much for tuning in to I Radio Uyu and to another installment of English for the Workplace Communication. Now with me today in the studios, if you happen to be watching the live streaming, okay, is actually two guests, yeah. One is engineer Li Mengzi, who is an engineer by profession, uh, currently a product engineering manager at Denso, a Japanese multinational company in Bangi. And her background is electronics engineering and MBA. And currently, she's pursuing PhD in business administration right here at Open University Malaysia. So she's one of our own. Now, another of my guests is actually Alex Liu, who is a finance professional with background in stockbroking, equipment financing, project financing, commercial credit, loan documentation and credit administration and he's the publisher of a web blog known as Next Street which specializes in investment matters and he's also a regular contributor to Madeka Review, an independent news portal on matters related to investment. Now some of you might wonder now why in the world do I have these two um, Yes, here on iRadio OUM. Okay, now today's installment of English for the Workplace Communication, we're talking about presentation. Specifically, we're talking about your presentation skill, your public speaking skills. So let me welcome our two guests to our studios. Good morning. Okay, so you found our studios easily, I hope? Yes, open university. Yeah. Open to all. Yeah, okay. Now, actually, you are representatives of Toastmasters, right? Am I right? Yes. Okay, so just let's kick it right off, okay? Uh, what is Toastmasters all about? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Umi. Uh, Toastmasters is a non-profit educational organization that teach public speaking skills and leadership skills through a worldwide network of meeting locations. Mm -hmm. It's a headquarters in the USA and it has more than 270,000 members mm -hmm. in over 13,000 clubs in 116 countries, okay. almost like football. Yeah. <laughs> and since the 1924, mm -hmm. Toastmaster International has helped people from all backgrounds to become more confident in front of an audience. Mm -hmm. In Malaysia, Toastmaster started over 30 years ago, mm -hmm. and this is now we have almost uh, 10,000 members mm -hmm. in. 250 clubs all over Peninsula Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So whether you are a professional, student, stay at home, parents or retiree, mm -hmm. Toastmasters is the best way to improve your communication skills. Mm -hmm. And this uh, can help you to overcome the fear of public speaking mm -hmm. and also will help you to become more successful in mm -hmm. your chosen career path. Mm -hmm. You will be a better listener and speaker as well mm -hmm. and you get to also lead teams and conduct meetings mm -hmm. you more comfortably give and receive constructive evaluation and even you already have some of these skills you will enhance them in mm -hmm. Toastmasters mm -hmm. so suddenly it all makes sense now why is this so related to presentation to English at the workplace communication we are always looking for ways to improve our skills right mm -hmm. now um, Alex maybe you can help me with this question some of us wonder perhaps yeah what's the difference between say becoming a Toastmaster or joining Toastmaster and say you know, attending a public speaking course, perhaps? Attending a public speaking course mm -hmm. is, is a good thing mm -hmm. because obviously you realize that you need to improve your public speaking skill. Mm -hmm. But public speaking courses are only for a very short period, mm -hmm. ranging from three to five days. Mm -hmm. And it's very costly. Yes, true. Yeah. And I believe that public speaking is a skill that you can get good at it mm -hmm. if you have a lot of practice. Mm -hmm. It's like playing football or mm -hmm. play, playing any games. Mm -hmm. You have to practice. So sure. by joining a club like Toastmaster mm -hmm. or maybe even other public speaking clubs, mm -hmm. you have an opportunity. Every few weeks you can come in and practice. Mm -hmm. So Toastmaster is such an opportunity. Mm -hmm. You come in and practice two or three times mm -hmm. a month and in the process, you acquire better presentation skill, mm -hmm. or as well as getting rid of some not so good habits. <laughs> yes, you become a better speaker. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe perhaps you'd like to add to that. Oh yeah, so for a seminar, mm -hmm. for a public speaking seminar, mm -hmm. it's normally two or three days. Mm -hmm. You join, 
you might have fun there. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's two or three days. It's sure. over. Mm-hmm. But for Toastmasters, it's continuous. Mm-hmm. It's never and then and you learn by a doing and it's a self paced program uh-huh. if you're busy you can take a while maybe once a month or a few few times a year yeah. if you that's a, that's your pace uh-huh. or you can do it every day if you want to yeah. so it's for a fraction of the fees mm-hmm. less than 1000 a year depends mm-hmm. on the clubs you are joining mm-hmm. at the same time you have the fun mm-hmm. in the process of learning and receiving feedbacks from your peers mm-hmm. and that is the way to overcome the fear of speaking and communicating as well Mm -hmm. and by that we build leadership skill each other Mm -hmm. because when we receive evaluation not only from our superior Mm -hmm. not only from our bosses we also receive feedback from friends peers Mm -hmm. who are like us Mm -hmm. always trying to improve our public speaking skills Mm -hmm. at the same time we have more fun we have fellowship Mm -hmm. and we enjoy learning at the same time okay uh, I would say not so much pressure because Mm -hmm. it's a and because you can do it at the self-paced program uh-huh. so voluntary and self-paced program and therefore you will have more fun learning mm-hmm. okay so i hope i've we've piqued your interest in toastmaster so much so that you want to know what happens in a toastmaster meeting but before our guests share that with you let me take a small break first we'll come back with more after the break only on iradio oum roaming across your mind Radio OU and roaming across your mind. Thank you so much for still uh, tuning in to English for Workplace Communication. And with me in the studios are two guests, yeah, Lee Ming Zi and Alex Lu, both from Toastmasters. Okay. Now, before the break, you shared with us about Toastmasters, about how it is different from you know normal you know public speaking or communication course, whatnot. Now. Perhaps our audience are more interested to know now what actually happens at a Toastmaster meeting. Okay. A typical Toastmasters meeting uh-huh. is a made up of around 20 people meeting once a week or once in two weeks mm-hmm. for about two hours and each meeting give everyone an opportunity to practice. Mm-hmm. How do you practice? We have three segments. Mm-hmm. First is the impromptu speaking. Mm-hmm. Members have the opportunity to present one to two minutes of impromptu speeches on assigned topic on the spot. Mm. Mm-hmm. And second, you have presenting uh, prepared speeches. So there, three or more members can pre- present their prepared speech based on projects from the Toastmasters International manuals or either competent communicators or advanced communicators manuals and they can cover topics on anything and everything ranging from speech organization humor voice language gestures and persuasion mm-hmm. before they do their speech the manual will give you a briefing and introduction mm-hmm. and what is recommended to do mm-hmm. and we have the speech objectives and also the evaluation guide mm-hmm. so every prepared speech you will be assigned an evaluator to help you to give you feedback mm-hmm. positive feedback and also the feedback for improvement and this is the special what's so special about Toastmasters so after your prepared speeches we have the uh, constructive evaluation being presented so this they will point out your strength and weakness and this peer evaluation element is key to the success mm-hmm. of Toastmasters because it gives us the members the opportunity to progress one step at a time to become a better speaker and the evaluator also by giving evaluator first you have to listen well yes. then you have to evaluate and he have to make himself to give positive evaluation and areas of improvement mm-hmm. therefore improving the way that we deal with not only with us also with our peers mm-hmm. with our colleagues even with our bosses and each others. That mm-hmm. is the wonders of Toastmasters. So there are three segments and uh, you we can participate in any of these segments. Mm-hmm. So Alex, will, will all, all Toastmasters meeting will have these three segments, these structures? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Actually, Toastmasters meeting are pretty standardized. Uh-huh. When you talk about communication, as Ming Sima has mentioned, uh-huh. basically communication is about listening, mm-hmm then thinking, then speaking, Bonding, mm-hmm. yes. and of course we have the feedback uh-huh. aspect. And also in Toastmaster meeting, we also uh, allow people to develop their leadership skills. And that is something that is 
uh, understated when you talk about Toastmaster because mm -hmm. we have two track. Mm -hmm. One is the communication track, and the other is the leadership track. Mm -hmm. Now, why would people come in to a Toastmaster meeting and they are not actually giving a speech? Mm -hmm. Because they are given opportunity to take up roles such as evaluators, such as mm -hmm. grammarians, mm -hmm. and so forth. This role will develop your leadership skill in terms of taking up assignment, communicating, mm -hmm. delegating tasks, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and all in all, it would make you a more complete uh, person, mm -hmm. a more complete executive in today's world. I think mm -hmm. that would enhance your value sure. to your employer. Mm -hmm. yes. So, coming back to your question, whether they are about the same. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are roughly about the same. In fact, if there is a guest coming into the meeting, mm -hmm. we would actually tell them what to expect in a Toastmaster meeting, I like see. what uh, Mingzi has told you, mm -hmm. the three uh, parts of a Toastmaster meeting. Mm -hmm. And we run it quite rigorously mm -hmm. so that there is always standard. Mm -hmm. The standard is maintained. Mm -hmm. And to maintain that, we have a general evaluator that is uh, from another club. Mm -hmm and who would give us constructive criticism yeah. so that some club may deviate <laughs> uh, the standard may drop uh -huh. and you will have some criticism or some constructive suggestion uh -huh. how we can lift it up again so that's why Toastmaster meetings are pretty standard uh, even if you go to Penang or you mm -hmm. go overseas uh, it is pretty, pretty standard the yes. mm, okay so of course I think the next relevant question to the both of you and this is very very apparent from the interview <laughs> so far you both are very articulate you both are very mm. well spoken and all. okay now can you share with us how has becoming a Toastmaster <laughs> helped you with your speaking or presentation skills Mingzi so by this uh, Toastmasters program, mm -hmm. we have <coughs> had our practice to communicate and also to take up leadership roles. Mm -hmm. It's not overnight, it takes a while, but we, as along the way, we are able to communicate and lead well with more and more confidence. Mm -hmm. And we are able to present, for example, I'm able to present better at my workplace. Mm -hmm. I'm able to handle pressure much better than before because mm -hmm. when things are being said, when questions are being thrown in, mm -hmm. and when you need to present and in any conditions, that is not for you to decide. Mm -hmm. Whatever the conditions, that you is the way that you practice. So those practices that we gain from going to Toastmasters meeting mm -hmm. comes in place mm -hmm. during when we deal with the presentation or during when we deal with things or being said or things being happened at the workplace mm -hmm. or even at home as well. Mm -hmm. So for example, I have to present a proposal defense. I did some pre-QE or pre-proposal defense. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any, I would say not totally problem to handle that. It, the questions itself come then I, I could answer more positively mm -hmm. along the way. Mm -hmm. And of course, I was participating in the Lifelong Learning Conference mm -hmm. last November, organized by Open University with international participants. Mm -hmm. And there were people questioning during Q&A from mm -hmm. professors or uh, from all uh, from other countries. And when these questions being presented or posted during your presentation, mm -hmm. it all these practices that I had over the last two, three years at Toastmasters came in for when I could, when the question came in, I could answer with more patience and confidence. Mm -hmm. So this not happened overnight. Mm -hmm. I have had seminars, I attended seminars before, but right after that, you know, things are just closed up after the seminar. Mm -hmm. But Toastmasters, because it's a continuous program, mm -hmm. I continue to attend meetings. Whether I do prepared speech or impromptu speech or evaluator, I get to speak mm -hmm. during that time. I get constructive evaluation, which I sometimes take on board when I deal with normal. So when I need to interview or be interviewed, when you present to stakeholders or budget, or even deal with the live pressure, it improves. Mm -hmm. and it improved my livelihood and my life as well. I see. So what about you, Alex? Have you always been this well-spoken, articulate, or, or is Toastmaster the, the reason? No, <laughs> no. I, I joined Toastmaster because uh -huh. I want to learn public speaking. I see. But actually, it can apply to, like Mingzi said, mm -hmm. it can apply to a smaller uh, communications, like one-on-one, -on -one, uh -huh. or even in a panel discussions, mm -hmm. because all communications would have a certain structure mm -hmm. uh, and if you learn that structure 
how you, for example, talk to your boss mm -hmm. who has only one or two minutes to spare for you, mm -hmm. you may want to start with an inverted pyramid system. Give the important information mm -hmm. first and then back it up and so forth. So you learn all this and it helps you in your life. Even mm -hmm. it helps you in, with your communication with your children or your spouse. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so just a little bit goes a long, long way. Okay, now we're going to take a small break first. But be sure to stay tuned to iRadio OUM because Alex and Minzy will share more with us on Toastmasters. So stay tuned to iRadio OUM, we're roaming across your mind. You am roaming across your mind Still tuned in to English for Workplace Communication But today, our focus is on Toastmasters okay, Specifically, how Toastmasters can actually help you Develop and enhance your presentation skills Okay, now with me in the studios Again, it's Ming Zi and Alex Alex Liu Okay, now, uh, guys, can you share with us of course, I guess some some of our audience, or even I myself, I worry that I might not be getting the same experiences, these wonderful experiences that you've been sharing with me through uh, Toastmasters. Can, so can can people like can others expect the same experiences as you have had with Toastmasters? Oh yes, everyone will have different experience. Mm -hmm. But of course, most of us when we start with Toastmasters, we were once at the level that you are and most are. We were fearful of public speaking. Our start, our first speech was full of our lars and blas and all the uh, fillers words. And we are at the same level as you are. So don't worry. We are mm -hmm. all in the same boat. So we each will have different experience. Mm -hmm. But by going through the self-paced Toastmasters program, you will surely improve because it learn, you learn by doing, learn by practice. Mm -hmm. And the practice is by doing it. Mm -hmm. So we come to Toastmasters meeting, whether we take part in the prepared speech or impromptu speaking or even doing evaluation or uh, taking up the R counter or count grammarians and other timers roles, we get to speak and others are giving us feedback. Mm -hmm. Even we are taking up roles, we do get also evaluations. Mm -hmm. And it is a way of improving that we can move towards so one of the experience that I have because I'm a student of an open university at the same time I'm also working my company mm -hmm. so all this experience that I gained from the Toastmasters comes to fall when I have to do evaluations or when I have to uh, work with my classmates for my PhD program work with the researchers collecting data and when I also have to work in my workplace I have to deal with superiors and also some and mm -hmm. well, my fellow pe my peers, peers are working and it comes to fall because when I have to do my speeches I'm also communicating at the same time when I take out leadership role I also have to learn to give positive feedback and mm -hmm. also areas on improvement that's the same way that I deal with whether at work whether at families with friends also if my colleagues and classmates and also when we deal with our facilitators, lecturers and how we deal with each other and when I come to a certain times when I have to do evaluations, when I have to with the staff, when I to do presentations and when I have to do interviews and <laughs> I have to do uh, sometimes do some uh, say some difficult do some difficult things like asking someone to leave some, something. Mm -hmm. When we go through that during Toastmasters, over over time, you have the confidence. Mm -hmm. so I'm sure Alex have a more to share about your experience yeah. as well. How about your experiences in, in Toastmasters, Alex? Any, any, I mean, I mean, one of the things that I'm actually afraid of, I think it's hard why yet. In most of us, when we, when we hear the word evaluation, we, we equate it to examination. So it's <laughs> kind of scary. So what about all your experiences, all the positive feedbacks that you, re, uh, you receive from uh, Toastmasters and all that? I think a lot of people, when they receive evaluations, they mm -hmm. tend to be very tense because okay. all right like you say you know i'm, I'm gonna get uh, my mark <laughs> i'm gonna get some comment that mm -hmm. what i'm not good at and mm -hmm. so forth mm -hmm. now my my experience if i can compare it with uh, uh, my personal experience mm -hmm. um, we have uh, two cambodian mates before mm -hmm. all right um, now i i didn't use the what i learned in toastmaster mm -hmm. on them uh -huh. but I discovered that 
we have been practicing it at home and why it, it, work, it is working so well in Toastmaster. We have Cambodians made that came to our home mm -hmm. who are unable to speak English. Uh -huh. And in four or five months time, they can speak English. I because see. we practice with them every day, uh -huh. all right? Because you can only speak to us uh, in English, mm -hmm. and we cannot speak to you in Cambodian. Mm -hmm. So you practice every day, mm -hmm. and we provide them with a very safe environment because we never criticize them or be hard on them if they were to make a mistake mm -hmm. in the uh, English language. So the same thing we find in Toastmaster: you give a speech, you make a few mistakes, mm -hmm. or do you have some weak point? Mm -hmm. We just point it out. The objective of uh, evaluation is actually mm -hmm. to help the speaker improve mm -hmm. so and we are also uh, going to be assessed as an evaluator mm -hmm. not just the speaker is being assessed but the evaluator will be assessed so we must be positive constructive and helpful mm -hmm. so at the end of the day you find that in Toastmaster a lot of people who join Toastmaster will say that this is a very safe environment to learn mm -hmm. uh, they dare to come and take up the challenge because well, if they fail, you still have all the other members who are mm -hmm. supportive because we have been through it. <laughs> we have made similar mistakes and we understand your position. Uh -huh. that's, that's how I feel. I see. Mm. Okay. So, um, well, between the two of you, how does uh, Toastmasters help develop your communication skill? I understand that there are different speeches to um, to prepare for, di different speeches to give and whatnot. Can, can you share with us? Okay, for mm. my case, uh -huh. uh, by doing the Toastmasters, you know, at my workplace when I present, I just use uh, well my laptop and I pitch down. But in the Toastmasters, we were I heard some of our other evaluators who feedback, well, you need to pace around the room. You need mm -hmm. to ha have better contacts mm -hmm. with your audience. So I had to get the remote uh, presenter mm -hmm. and I had to get used to it. So this. <laughs> This has actually helped me when I do when I did the lifelong learning conference. Mm -hmm. I was one of the participants. So I by doing that at Toastmasters and also I got feedback. Mm -hmm. See whether I was pacing well, whether I was uh, having a good eye contact with my audience, whether I was just holding the remote and didn't have body language or <laughs> vocal variety, mm -hmm. and whether my presentation was clear and concise at the same time. Mm -hmm. So this I got through Toastmasters by a few times I did the visual aids, mm -hmm. using the visual aids to present in Toastmasters and I got varying feedback. Yes. Sometimes we have uh, one evaluated at a time, sometimes we have panel evaluation, but it's alright, we take on board what we think is uh, good and we improve. So when I did the lifelong conference, I didn't have the fear of public speaking. Mm -hmm. My fear was only whether my content was suitable or not. But mm -hmm. important is to give the confidence level of yourself so that your audience also feel confident and able to learn from you. Mm -hmm. so you, you can have a lot of contents and knowledge. But if you're not able to present well, the audience can't receive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they can't receive or maybe they just record it but not receive it mm -hmm. in their mind and their heart. Mm -hmm. So to reach out to that presentation and the way that we communicate during Toastmasters helps on that. So for me, it's one of the things I learned from Toastmasters is using a remote presenter <laughs> and getting comfortable with the audience and also the audience Q&A. Mm -hmm. some, some of our speech manuals, they do have a Q&A. They give a like five to seven minute speech plus two to three minutes Q&A. Mm -hmm. So this is something that when we do proposal defense, mm -hmm when we have to present our thesis, mm -hmm. these are some of the things that will actually happen. Mm -hmm. So it's better to practice in a friendly environment, mm -hmm. environment. because mm -hmm. in the, it's friends helping friends mm -hmm. succeed. That's our Toastmasters uh, motto. So mm -hmm. for example, when I do the speech, probably Alex or when you when we could be mm -hmm. my feedback and you can feedback to me whether I'm doing well mm -hmm. or there are areas that I need to improve. Mm -hmm. So by doing that a few more times mm -hmm. or even go beyond club, go other clubs, mm -hmm. I can even get varying and variety of uh, improvements that I can get. Because mm -hmm. in the workplace, sometimes we are 
pure workplace where we have to present to bosses, sometimes we are afraid to make mistakes. Or when someone point out, we feel so shy, we don't even want to think about it anymore because we lost our chance to our promotion. But when it comes to Toastmasters, it's just a fun and fellowship friendly environment. So when the real thing come, when the crucial time come, you will not fail. So when it comes to thesis presentation, when it comes to your your quarterly meeting or your end of year appraisal presentation, you cannot make mistake. That's it. You lost that chance. That's it. But in Toastmasters, you feel we always say your saving grace is your next speech. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you but you are only as good as your last speech. If you don't do your next speech, that's it. <laughs> you will remain yes. there. But your saving grace is always your next speech. So if you get some a lot of points of improvement, don't worry. Just do your next speech and improve on that. Mm-hmm. And that time you might get even more improvement uh, ideas, and you improve that in your following speeches. Mm-hmm. So is this something like that happens to you as well, Alex? Yes. Um, after the basic communication manual, uh-huh. we move on to the advanced communication manual. Uh-huh. I was doing technical presentations and uh, management speeches. Uh-huh. And then one day I received a call from uh, BFM mm-hmm. 89.9. Mm-hmm. They asked me whether I want to be interviewed on the program called Market Watch. Mm-hmm. Well, we always say that an opportunity only come around once. Yes. So I quickly grab it mm. and after that I start to worry. I start to <laughs> be very anxious. How do I do a radio interview? Uh-huh. So I throw the idea to Mingzi, uh-huh. who was then the Vice President Educational Club. I said, I got this great opportunity, but do you think I can practice in the club? And she says, Yeah, you can try out advanced communication manual on communicating on televisions. And so we took up the manual and read through it and we did assignment number two. Mm-hmm. And the following week I was interviewed on the air and well I would say that I am much better prepared for mm-hmm. that interview mm-hmm. than if I haven't done it. Mm-hmm. So that I think is uh, one of the practical application of Toastmasters. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's about preparing yourself for the next uh, speech. <laughs> okay, uh-huh. now we're going to take a small break first. But after the break, Mingzi and Alex will share more with us on Toastmasters only on our radio. You am roaming across your mind. Thank you so much for still tuning in to today's installment of English for Workplace Communication. Today we're with Toastmasters. Okay, now we're specifically with Toastmaster Li Mingzi and Toastmaster Alex Lu. Okay, now when we talk about Toastmasters, we're talking about communication, presentation skills and all that. Yeah. Now a big part of public speaking or presentation is actually confidence. The speaker's confidence especially. Now how does Toastmasters uh, help in this sense? So for Toastmasters, as I explained just now, we have a learn by doing program. Mm-hmm. So whereby you get your you get to speak and you get evaluations and feedback in the process. Mm-hmm. Along the way, the more you do it, the more confidence. The confidence will start kicking it along the way. Mm-hmm. So we always say, there's always fear is always there. Fear of speaking, fear of making mistakes. Mm-hmm. But as the more you do it, the fear will not go away. But mm-hmm. it's how you overcome that fear. Mm-hmm. So this is always, we by doing it, the, this Toastmasters, we start it off. You do a more and more speeches or do more and more evaluation. Mm-hmm. Same time, you get more confidence in doing it, in doing your communication, in giving feedback to others, and you start being less afraid mm-hmm. when you have to do it in your daily life. Mm-hmm. You have to communicate with people. Like I have to communicate with you. Mm-hmm. I have to communicate with people. I have to communicate with customers from all levels of people, and also people that you don't know, strangers. I have to communicate with strangers as mm-hmm. well. So that confidence comes in because I have been doing it in the Toastmasters environment, friendly, positive environment. Mm-hmm. And when it comes to your real life, it becomes not so worrisome mm-hmm. anymore. Mm-hmm. For example, when you have to, we are, we are going to start the Toyo and Toastmasters, mm-hmm. sometimes I have to ask, ask, approach strangers, mm-hmm. well, would you like to join your Toastmasters? Mm-hmm. Those days, I would 
be so afraid of <laughs> approaching strangers after the strangers say you're good. Go away. But <laughs> this practice helps because nah, not that I don't have to have thick skin, mm-hmm. but because I have confidence. Mm-hmm. If he said no, it's fine. Say no, I just mm-hmm. move to the next target. Mm-hmm. So you have to do that whether you are in any environment. For example, I have to do research, you know, collect data. So along the way, I might have to approach some strangers or mm-hmm. some companies or people that I don't know, some organizations or even the public. So when we have to do the data collections, you can't say, oh, I'm so afraid of attaching so I cannot do my research and I cannot submit my thesis just because of that. So also, we have to maybe do some selling. Mm-hmm. We might have to, uh, OUM may want to approach some people, some organization join in. And rather than leave it to the marketing people, mm-hmm. people from all levels of work, work can actually do that. So how did we get that confidence? It is not uh, overnight. Mm-hmm. It was over time that mm-hmm. when we go to open the Toastmasters, not only at our club, sometimes we have to go at the clubs. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we have to just call people to arrange a program. Mm-hmm. Along the way, we improve in the way that we deal with things, whether communications or leadership, it comes to fall. Mm-hmm. Or also when we deal with uh, na- people, neighbours, other good neighbours or nasty neighbours, it's not for us to decide. Mm-hmm. But it's how you deal with them, how you communicate with them. That confidence comes in buy more and more practice. So mm-hmm. that's what to, these Toastmasters have offered to us. Mm-hmm. Maybe Alex can add any more? Yeah. yeah. I think what she said is quite true, mm-hmm. that confidence is something that you gain after you have put in a lot of practice. Mm-hmm. Uh, my personal experience is that uh, the first speech I gave uh, in, in my Toastmaster and in my club is, I was asked to give uh, a speech at the competition itself. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't even ready f- uh, for that, uh, but I was thrown at the deep end straight away, mm-hmm. and I managed to do very well. And that, that's not to say that I wasn't uh, anxious and uh, fearful, mm-hmm. but sometimes you get a little bit overconfident. Mm-hmm. So another speech, I actually lost my line <laughs> and I, I stumbled. Mm-hmm. So like Mingzi said, it is a fear that you have to cope with. And every time we go up and give a speech, the first one minute Mm -hmm. is the time when you are probably most anxious. And when you settle down, then the speech will flow very nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think the most important thing is practice. The more practice you have, and you prepare yourself by going into unfamiliar environments. Mm -hmm. Like Mingzi said, you go to other clubs. Sometimes you go to bigger Mm settings. Because a club meeting is only of uh, consists of about 20 persons mm-hmm. but if you go to say a um, division contest and you take up the role as the, the Toastmaster of the day mm-hmm. which is effectively the MC for the event mm-hmm. so it, it prepared you. you you are more ready for uh, bigger events and you have been through it before so mm-hmm. you know how to cope with it Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's about it's about actually uh, having having the confidence in you and believing in yourself actually. Oh yes, but it comes over time. Mm-hmm. When we first do it, we had a lot of fears. So <laughs> what, along the way, we always say though, courage is not the absence of fear. Courage mm-hmm. taking action despite fear, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it will happen not only in Toastmasters but in real life as well. Whether in workplace, whether at home, whether we are friends, home and away. So we get that by, we, we do it in the friendly environment of Toastmasters mm-hmm. where we help friends, friends help friends to succeed and that alone builds the confidence. You know? mm-hmm. For example, when I took up the role of area governor, I was quite afraid because my, my speeches were all technical and very plain and <laughs> based. Mm-hmm. Suddenly I need to give a speech to uplift the spirits of the people, mm-hmm. which I hadn't done before. Mm-hmm. But when I was asked to give, I didn't even have time to practice. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even have time to prepare the script because Mm -hmm. they were just calling me up. After our incoming area governor is soon to uplift your spirit. I said, oops. (laughs) (laughs) But but I was able to deliver it Mm -hmm. well. I was able to make them feel confident about their upcoming season and how did I achieve it? Because by then, I had 20, 30 speeches. Even though it was in another type of speech, Mm -hmm. that regular presenting of speeches helped me when I was put on the spot. Mm-hmm. Whether on that point or whether at workplace. 
sometimes I have to request for an uh, additional budget in front of presentation and sometimes on the spot I was being called mm -hmm. to present to deliver a speech a two or three minute speech and by having to do that at the Toastmaster setting mm -hmm. giving feedback even though I'm in another setting but the confidence of delivering speeches and also by having to give feedbacks of positive or points of improvement mm -hmm. whether to my staff whether to my peers mm -hmm. it helps along the way and th that fear still there but I was able to overcome come it in mm -hmm. a, along the way I think and I think you, uh, you may uh, learn in Toastmaster is mm -hmm. actually uh, another way of learning is learning by example mm -hmm. like Mingzi uh, talk about been asked to give uh, in a speech to uplift the spirit. Mm -hmm. We have other more experienced Toastmasters who have done it over the years in the clubs, mm -hmm. and we have seen it. And I'm sure it is in her in her memory that mm -hmm. this is how you do it. So actually, by mixing around, mm -hmm. uh, we learn from each other how, in such a setting, actually the skeletal part of the speech is like this. Mm -hmm. You follow the steps and you just sort of fill in the blank and even though you're not ready uh, you will probably get 70-80% correct mm -hmm. and the speech will be good enough to go yeah. mm -hmm. okay now unfortunately we're almost at the end of the segment unfortunately okay because we're having so much fun but uh, Mingzi perhaps uh, can you share with us perhaps your advice for our audience today yes oh. Toastmasters is good for you mm -hmm. and for open universities finally we are going to start a Toastmasters club and we will have an inaugural meeting mm -hmm. in the first first either the first weekend or second weekend of July mm -hmm. the announcement will be made very soon mm -hmm. I hope all of you are able to join so it's open to all not only all open universities students and staff mm -hmm. and lecturers or tutors you can also invite your friends to join mm -hmm. the reason we want to open is so that we can get a variety like in mm -hmm. my club in the IEM Toastmasters mm -hmm. we meet every second fourth and fifth Thursday 7 44 p.m. we're not only for engineer Alex he's mm -hmm. from the financial side we have mm -hmm. members coming from the HR from the printing background from marketing background an IT background and we're able to get knowledge from each other. Mm -hmm. So I urge all of you can come to the Open University Malaysia Toastmasters Club which will have an inaugural meeting in the first weekend or second weekend of July. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned and get book your schedule mm -hmm. and we hope you will be there. It will be held in the Shah Alam Learning, Learning Center. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah Alex, your, your advice to our listeners today. I definitely support what Min mm -hmm. just said. I believe that uh, public speaking, some people say it is one of the most fearful thing to do, mm -hmm. yes, is one of the best way that you can actually step out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Stephen Jobs has said that we must not settle. Mm -hmm. We must always be trying to be better mm -hmm. than what we are today. So Toastmaster allows, that, uh, allows you to do that because we uh, improve your communication skill, improve your leadership skill, and we empower you. We give you the courage to make that change mm -hmm. so that you can have a more fulfilling life and you can achieve your dreams. So by all means, join us in Toastmaster and you will have a better life. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm. Fun feeling, full feeling, full yeah. feeling. <laughs> Okay, you know. well, since we're already at the end of the segment, let me take this opportunity to thank both of you for sharing your experiences, sharing your expertise with us here at iRadio OUM. Okay. okay, thank okay. you. Now, to all you listeners out there, stay tuned to iRadio OUM because more interesting segments is up ahead. This is me, Hanim, signing off. Have a great day ahead. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.